and I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. Ahoy hoy friends, uh, I'm out fishing today. Uh, this episode we're just going to be looking at how I fitted my hydrofoil to my 2.5 horsepower Suzuki. As you can see the weather's getting a bit nicer down where I am so I'll be taking the Hobie out soon. Uh, it was a great improvement and uh, here we go. This is how you do it and how quickly and easily you can fit it. Alright, catch you later guys. Bye. Oh wait, I'll show you some whales. There's a couple of whales out here doing whale stuff. There's one. Goofing around. Alright guys, we're just going to have a little look at uh, the time I got switch baited. Buying a hydrofoil for the uh, 2.5 horsepower, this little fellow just up here. So we'll just have a look at the thickness and the actual design of this uh, smaller hydrofoil and then we'll just go check the perma trim on my boat. There we go, what is it? 3.39. Okay. Alright, here's my perma trim. I've had it for a few years. I've had no problems with it. Um, and I recommend it on my boat, which is a 4.2 metre smart wave, so it's a plastic boat. Um, we'll probably film it at some stage. The differences I do note is this one's a bit thicker. Um, it is for a larger engine though. Let's have a little look see. And yeah, it is a thick material. What I noticed straight away is these angles here are different. A slight V in the middle where it's V'd down. So other than that, it's just basically the... This one's just got a little bit of a, a scoop on the back here and it's got the two holes there which seem to be countersunk on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one on the 2.5 horsepower. Yeah, right, let's go. So we have this template here that they sent me. Pretty much useless and it's not for this size airport. So they could have just sent me toilet paper really. This one is it doesn't go on top of the cavitation plate, it goes underneath because it hits the sacrificial anode just here. So it goes underneath like this. Go find some clamps and get it situated. Alright, here's my cunning plan guys, I've just uh, eyeballed it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the old texture around and then I'll bang some holes in and bang some holes in this top plate and it should all work out hopefully. Crossed. So I'm just going to run this around. I'll just clean it up afterwards with some acetone or something. Dodge in where the old uh, fat bits are and we'll work it wherever that is on the other side. It's got a lot of fat. We'll pull that off and mark it. Cobble. So I think what we'll do is we'll just pull the propeller off so we can just access it easier. Well, now's probably a good time to tell you why we're actually doing this. Not just for fun, because it was cavitating quite a bit when I was using it, so hopefully we see some sort of change, and hopefully this will rectify it and we'll film it to see if it makes any difference. We'll just bend this pin over here, pop that out and unscrew it, and maybe grease it, if it's a bit gross. So something like this will happen. Oh yeah. I've definitely done that. Turn this up over the side. Definitely needs a grease. When we put it back on, is in need of a grease. Now I'll have good access to under there. I might find some rags and clean off that. Just a quick little clean off. Alright, we're just going to remove this little anode here. Using a lefty loosey method. Kerblam. Clear run to mess up the cavitation plate with the power drill. Alright. Alright guys, so I've got it marked out. Um, I won't tell you where the markings are because it might not be great. 
and I don't want some angry hate mail. But I'm just putting in four bolts. There's not enough room on the actual plate for more than four bolts. So I've just popped one here, I'm gonna pop one here, here and here. Just making sure there's enough meat on the cavitation plate and it's not gonna hit our sacrificial anode. And I'm just gonna go through and center punch those and drill the holes. Couldn't find a center punch, so we're just gonna use this screw. Hopefully it works out. All right, I'm a bit worried about this hole here and this hole here. So there might not be enough fat on this side. We're just gonna do it anyway. So I'm just drilling from from those holes we made before. Just banging it in from behind. I'm not, I'm not nailed that one, guys. It's a bit. She's a bit mongy. Alrighty, we have the holes drilled. And now I'm going to attempt to clean off all the pop I put on there. Got some isopropyl alcohol on a magic eraser, and it is coming off. Thankfully. Alright, now we're going to use some of this to seal it. So I'm just going to go around there. Suitably smeared. Uh, I've just popped these in. I've put some Tef Gel, which just stops any uh, corrosion from dissimilar metals. So I'll tighten it down and we'll see how it looks. So, the bottom actually doesn't look too bad. It's turned out pretty schmicko. I just smoothed it down like that. I'm not going to spend my whole afternoon messing around with it, but I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to grease this shaft and put the propeller back on. Alright guys, we're out of Mahobi getting along. We're going to test out the motor. Wind noise is pretty bad here guys, so I'm just going to voice it over. Basically what I'm saying here, although you can't hear it because of the wind noise, I'm just letting you guys know who killed uh, Epstein, and also many numerous things like the cure to cancer, etc. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly fill in the sail and we'll give the motor a bash. So before it was really cavitating when I took the turns, and let's see how it goes. Alright. Guys, we are doing it. I'm going to try and not drop my phone in the water. Just do that up. It's a bit hideous, hasn't seen sun in a while. Alrighty, so we're just on pretty low revs now. This was about the revs where it starts to cavitate. So we're getting on at a fair clip, if you can see. Just face it forwards. Crank it up to full throttle, guys. We're doing it. Ready? Oh no! I got wet. Bad idea. All right, I can safely say it's fixed, guys. I, I did test it out before, and uh, I can turn, and it just doesn't cavitate anymore. So, big thumbs up to the guys that uh, switch baited me. About to do a little bit of sailing, and hope that that salt water did not make it into my charging port. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.